Okay, hello Rockers and Mercuryans. Rock Mercury here and welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. So today we are having, or tonight, we are having a delicious plate of vegetables, sauteed vegetables mixed with um, delicious mushrooms and green beans, um, mushed potatoes. Like, it's, it's giving. Chef Paris Ray really went in, and so I just really appreciate her for always bringing it. She always brings it. She never plays. Um, so I'm very thankful. I'm trying to make sure this phone is plugged in. Um, I see you guys looking. Thank you, Raspberry Dream, for the ASMR dream. Yeah, I just, I came, I tried to come on a second ago, but nothing was working. Like, nobody was getting able to come in. It was so bizarre. So I'm thankful to see you guys here. We're at 132 likes. Let's get that up, you guys. Let's get that up, too. The thousands likes, please. Thank you guys for being here. So we have a Tabitha Brown patty here. Um, and so we're going to eat these. And just have a nice little chat. Um, I've been in my business mode lately because I'm just like, you know what? It's time to elevate financially. You know? It's time. I think it's also time to elevate the temperature of this. I think it's still cold in the middle. Um, maybe the food on the fork. That's what it was. I'm not eating all this, you guys. I'm only eating part of it because I'm already. I'm gonna like save some for the other patty. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not feeling really that hungry right now. But I got. I was so sick, you guys, yesterday. I was so sick. But I powered through it. I said, I would not be sick longer. That's why I didn't come on live yesterday. I was a mess. A hot mess, but not hot. I can vouch for that. Don't listen to her. Oh, this is juice, you guys. This is Paris Ray's amazing orange juice. Not just oranges, but all kind of amazingness in here. Beautiful, gorgeous, delicious juice. I live fresh, fresh, fresh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna skip on the food and just drink the juice. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna probably eat that. Uh, forever, yum flour. Thank you for following. Raspberry dream. What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all, things are moving. Ever since I passed my my um my test here for the real estate situation, things have been popping off. Like so many, I'm getting the um like all this all the steps you have to take to like be be public with your company. It's just like everything is coming and I'm just responding immediately. So when you want something, you have to respond immediately and efficiently so that you can, you know, manifest that. You, have to, you, you gotta reach, you gotta go for it. And so I've been doing that and it's just moving fast. And I'm so happy. Like the only thing I wait for now is, is, the, is the city processing time, which takes forever. That's the only, time, only thing. Like these companies, like the, the associations and stuff, they take forever to do their process. But I'll be ready. And so, I need to immediately, like I said, get back on my nightly, um, my nightly like real estate lessons. Where we're doing broker lessons now because we're going to be learning for the California broker real estate test. Because why not? Because why not? I want to be a broker in both states. I got to wait four years here. I need mean, that I mean, like consecutive four years. And then need two years in California, which I already have. I already have four years if I if I counted my years before. I messed up back then. I didn't um, do my. I moved. I moved. That's it. Really, I said I never really messed up. I just moved. I didn't think I'd be back here, or well, I'm back and I'm happy to be back. Back in Texas, good old Tate House. Um. This juice is amazing. 
I'm glad I chose to stick with this right now. Um, Raspberry Dream, thank you for the likes. Forever Jamfia, thank you for the follow. We appreciate all the follows up in here. 1.5 thousand likes up in here. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. 1.5 thousand. So, um, my sister cut this um, open for me. I remember I told you guys I couldn't even put this on because it's so tight on the head. She cut it and it looks good. I think she did a good job on it. She said it's still too tight, but I don't agree. I think that it gives, she said the seams are giving. That's what she said, the seams are giving. How dare she though, you know? I feel like if I'm in my right posture, if I do my posture correctly, then it doesn't feel too tight. No. But yeah, anyway, I like that she cut it open so I can get my head through it now. That's a good thing. That's a good thing right there. So, maybe make it a little bit wider. There we go. Um, uh, I'll probably still sell it. This somebody wants it. I think anybody needs their head. I mean, I know I have a big head, but like I don't think my head's that big that a person, like I couldn't even fit it through that hole. So I feel like a lot of people's head could not fit through the hole that there was before. So it's been altered now. I'll still put it on the website, the Rock Mercury um, closet. It'll still be on there, but it's just gonna be a little bit, ex an extended um, neck hole. That's, I mean, whatever, you know? Whoever originally designed this was not thinking about making sure that people could fit their heads through it. If you guys can see me trying to fit my head through this, like, it looks ridiculous. I have my whole body just trying to like, scoot myself in and like, not have it pull my hair out. There's so much, but um, but yeah. So anyway, I think that I'm gonna really put this bow like that. There we go. That's cute. Um, yeah, this is what I want. Um. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's all like moving synchronistically, like in a magical way. Like I feel like everything is falling right at the place right now. So um, I'm going to let everything elevate financially, especially. That's the most part I'm ready to elevate. I want the new Tesla Cybertruck. I don't need it right when it comes out because I know there's gonna be some issues. You already know. So I'm okay with, the, with that. I might not get it right away, but I want it soon. And so I need to get this coin to pop in the right way. Cause I don't want the base version. I know I could get it theoret theoretically for $30,000, but I want it tricked out. I want it to be like a blinged out cyber truck like i want all the stops on it like give me war truck like i'm ready i want solar panels on the top you know like i want bulletproof everywhere i want custom paint well i don't care about the paint that bad i think i like the paint jobs they do already to be honest like i don't need another paint job for it like i feel fine with that i would just want to get everything that they offer like all the packages that they offer at Tesla and just soup it up to the top level. But the paint is fine. Like I, I really do like the paint they have already. I don't really need that. That's like an extra cost that's not necessary to me. As long as it's souped out. Um, but yeah, I gotta make that Cybertruck. It's so important to me to get that Cybertruck. And so I need to get it popping, pop, lock, and dropping. I'm already where I want to be. I parked the cyber truck right here in the, in the driveway. <laughs> or wherever, I don't know. There's already a car, car parked in our driveway. I don't know. I don't know if I'll leave a cyber truck out in the street. I'll figure that out later. 
I have to figure that out. We have a lot of cars here already. So I'm like, I don't know where the Cybertruck is going. Paris, Paris, where would I park the, where would I park the Cybertruck? Oh, she wants me to park the Cybertruck on the street, you guys. Just for the whole world to just be like, oh my God, the Cybertruck. Freaking out about it. I think she should go on the street. They all said that you should go on the street and this type of truck should go right in front of the driveway. Oh, the, they said that we should have we should have to have, have to do a street race in the ghetto, not not in the suburbs. Okay, I negotiated that we could do a street race a street race in Kingwood. Mm. Moonshine's in the house. Hey, Moonshine. IDK, thank you for the follow. I'll get his bottle going. Moonshine said nobody said that. Moonshine, Moonshine's like, come on, Moonshine, you did say that. Everybody said that. I don't know what Moonshine's talking about. Because they know we have to fight. When the, cyber, the second the cyber truck comes, it's a fight. She ain't ready. She wants me to park my cyber truck on the street. Can you imagine? Moonshine says Paris, Paris, he lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Moonshine. Well, no, Moonshine, I'm still coughing from my sickness yesterday. No, Moonshine, I deserve this. Are you gonna park, you want me to park my cyber truck on the street, Moonshine? She said I should already have a house nearby that I can park the cyber truck at. We'll find out. I'll buy another house just to park the cyber truck at. A house exclusively for cyber truck parking. And park it in the parking lot of it. In the dry, in the, uh, what do you call it? Um, garage. <laughs> park it in the garage. It could be my office building on the lake. I can run the company off the lake. <gasps> Yes. I love this house more than, I, I read to be, like, this house is private, so I love it here. It'd be good to have a property on the lake, too. We can run the whole company off of there. That'd be fabulous. We really could do that. Like, that can, like, actually work. If we get it popping enough, even with the Wix deals, we can literally buy a property there. Because they're going to open the other, other area and stuff, so. It's going to be amazing. What the heck is a Cybertruck? Moonshine, how dare you not know what a Cybertruck is? Elon Musk created a Cyber Tesla truck. It's a Tesla truck. It's coming out this year. I'm not hip. Moonshine, this is, this is game changing. This is game changing. This is a game changing moment. We're having an electric truck that's robust and it can basically become a tent. I don't know. It's bulletproof. It looks so cool and futuristic. Um, I don't really feel that great about the fact that the news is running a story right now about the auto drive malfunctioning. And there being massive recalls on the malfunctioning auto drives. That's unnerving. But I can't, I haven't, you know, I don't really trust that anyways. Moonshine says, wait, a truck that can become a tent? Yeah, in a way. Yeah, it can become, there's like attachments to it. You can make it a tent or I can make it like an RV. It's so dope. I, for one, don't need a vehicle that can turn into a tent. I sleep in my house. Uh, I agree with you. I'd love to sleep in my home too. Or turn into a transformer. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, I don't want a partner that turns into a transformer. How about that? How about that? Elon Musk is really Optimus Prime. Elon Musk is Optimus Prime. I'm joking. I'm mm. say that. Moonshine says the next thing you know, the rich kids in LA will be taking the cyber trucks to prom. Oh, they definitely will be. As their dates. Oh, as their dates. Oh, we're going there. 
we're going there. We're going to. Not far off. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a very big venue. Very very big venue. Um, and they 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 need to serve, um, some plugs or something at the at the bar. Electric shots for the for the car. Electric shots for the lady. Yeah. I want the Cybertruck so badly, you guys. I'm gonna work so hard, do whatever it takes. Cause my sister's right, if I can afford a Cybertruck, that means I'm rich. And so, that means everything else will be good too. So it's good to aspire towards something you want. It's not selfish to aspire towards something. I wouldn't get it recklessly. I would get it only when it's something that's like, not even an issue at that point. Like it just makes sense financially. So that's why it's important to do good business and be a business. Um, I just want the truck. I just want the truck and I'm trying to make myself feel better about wanting the truck by making it sound like it's more deeper than that. But I just want the truck and we get the truck and that's it. So yeah, to all the haters and spirits, I don't want me to have the cyber truck. Pray, do you want me to have the cyber truck? Oh, sweet of her. Look at her. She said, only if I drive it myself and not on auto. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Should I get Mama Cybertruck too? Uh -huh. Should I get Mama Cybertruck too? Should you, wait, what? Get Mama Cybertruck too. Sure. You don't think she doesn't want one? I think she would love it. I mean, she would drive it. I don't trust to drive drive me either. I won't drive it myself. I think she would live for it. She'd be so popular at work, but well, she's already popular. But she'd be even more popular. I just want it because it's amazing. I don't even drive that much. But it's really fun. I would drive more if I had that. Mm. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, I bet it's already on like, people have their cards already ready. I'm sure it's gonna be sold out immediately. Dang. All right, you guys. Well, it's okay because like I said, I want the second rendition of it. Not the first one that's all messing up and falling apart. I need the one that's like, we got this right. That's what I need. With all the software updates, baby. Give us all the software updates that we need. You know? Yeah, so I'm okay with waiting a little bit, but still, I wanna have the money ready so I can buy cash. It's gonna cost me about, about probably about a hundred thousand dollars to get it the way I want it done, with everything on it, with all the. Cause you could do multiple engines. There's so many different upgrades to like the inside, and additions and like, um, like trailers and stuff. Like I would literally just fill my my garage up with the truck on one side and then the the trailer thing on the other side of the garage, like you know, two car garage. Put it in like in. Put the, put the boat in there. That's what I would do. Cause it'd be so cool to have them both. And then, I mean, if you're on the lake, you might want to have a, a jet ski or something. That might be nice. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna jump off of here. Thank you guys for joining me. My family's coming in. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Rock on.